Kane, what's up? Dramatic nickel. Oh, you think yeah. it's a game? Oh. Hey, Clever Brunch to the DJ booth, Clever Brunch. One, two, three. Yeah. We simulating this. We're going to go through the bags. Bam. I'm going here. This is the running back right here. Right here. And I'm putting my head. Hey, y'all ain't looking. Y'all ain't looking. Y'all get it. So, yeah. 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 Everyone that came out and just helped and support everyone that's here. It's truly just a blessing trying to just give back. I just want to give back just from the bottom of my heart. The city is what made me. West Side of Akron is what made me. Booker is what made me. So just trying to give back. Just look around, man. I mean, there's a lot of guys I haven't seen in years. They come back because of one guy that did everything the way you're supposed to do it, and he made it uh, to the NFL, man. And, and we're all proud of him. And I, and I believe that's why a lot of people are here. And then to see the kids come out and play, man, I mean, it's – couldn't happen to a better guy. It means a lot. That's why I made it free. I mean, camps nowadays, football camps, basketball camps, they're charging these kids to go when the kids that are mainly in the inner city don't have that opportunity. They don't have the, the cash, the funds, the parents, are not, parents aren't home right now. They're working. And um, just wanted to put on something so that they could come out, those in the inner city, for free. Get uh, some just good things to learn, mainly about football. Just mainly about football, but it's bigger than that. Hard work. Uh, seeing someone, being that example of someone who has been here, who's from here, and that made it to where people want to go. So He's like taking the leadership role, you know, having the camp out here. It's making him look great. Like, it's giving a great impression on him as he's like bringing kids from the community in and the book through, not far from everybody in, in the city. And having a camp, that's pretty great. Like, that's, how I, that's something I would like to do when I grow up. And thank him for bringing all these guys together. I mean, we got Mark Black out here, man. Guy don't have to be out here. We got the principal at East that is really a griff, uh, Byron Finney. So, <laughs> I mean. Finney did go to book. Yeah, yeah, they're all griffs, man. So, you know, to, to see that, man, see kids all the way from Canton here, uh, you can't ask for anything better, man. And he's got a great supporting staff, man. His family's great. Uh, his girlfriend helped him put this thing together, man. And all the coaches that he played with, the guys that he played with, are out here helping too. So, man, this is the first time I didn't have to do anything. We all check it, but the thing about it, in my opinion, the league, I mean, everyone that's in the league is a professional. So it doesn't matter if it's the worst team in the league or the best team, you gotta put your hard hat on Sunday and play. So, we're, other teams may be blessed with a little bit more talent in some areas, but I respect everyone that plays a game of football at that level. I know how it, draining it can be physically and mentally. So, um, as far as the team in general though, it definitely has been ups and downs. But each year it's just a fresh start trying to get better. We got like a lot more tools now. We got a couple more guys that's coming back from injury. Signed a different quarterback. No disrespect to my boy Blake Bortles, that's my dog. But um signed my boy Nick, he's good for us. So we're on the up and up. Just finished OTAs and minicamp, but it went good. So definitely uh happy to just see the season. Get to the season and play some ball. Um, not thinking too far ahead. Um, I have looked at them. We played them last year, actually. We played them our rookie year before. So as far as the Chiefs, we haven't even looked that far ahead. I mainly just focus on me and how I can make me better. Get ready for training camp. Can't overlook anything. I got four preseason games. The first one is against Baltimore. I'm not even going to jump to the season until September because a lot can happen between July and August. You know what I mean? Go, head up. Hey, yeah, you, up, you may be able to. The game is, right now, it's a 16-game season. So that is long. Playing four preseason games, that's 20 games. The last three years, I've played 20 games. My second year, we made it to the playoffs and played three postseason games. So I played a total of 23 games in one season. It's up and down. It's the same as life, man. It's ups, it's down. Uh, it's just teaching me every day to just keep working to become a better man. Uh, 